So in this topology, I'm going to enable RIP on the HP 5406 switch acting as our router and on edge 2. So these two switches are going to run the RIP routing protocol. I have created loopbacks on edge 2 of quadruple 2 and on the router of quadruple 4. Now in this topology, edge 2 was configured previously with a default gateway of the HPE series router, in other words the 5406 switch. So I'm going to telnet to edge 2, show run. As you can see here, the IP default gateway command has been configured. So I'm going to say no IP default gateway, enter. So show IP route. You can see this switch only knows about directly connected networks and it has the built-in static route to reject the loopback of 127.0.0.0.8. So if we try and ping, for instance, 10.0.2.100, notice it says the destination network is unreachable. What about 10.100, also unreachable? 20.100, also unreachable. So in other words, this switch doesn't know how to get to the other VLAN interfaces on the HP router. So on this switch, first thing we're going to do is enable IP routing, which is required to enable RIP. Say so router RIP. Then I'm going to go on to VLAN 1 and type the command IP RIP. I'm going to go back to router RIP and then say redistribute. And I'm going to redistribute all the connected interfaces into RIP. Now on the router, we're going to type the command router RIP. IP routing was previously enabled for inter VLAN routing. And then we're going to say VLAN 1 IP RIP VLAN 2 IP RIP VLAN 10 IP RIP and VLAN 20 IP RIP. So we are enabling RIP on all the VLAN interfaces. Typing the command show IP route. So we haven't learned any routes yet. And the reason why we have to type the command router RIP enable to enable the RIP routing process. So on the edge router, hopefully we'll see some RIP routes. And there you go. We can see a default route learned through RIP. So as an example, we'll be able to ping yahoo.com now because we have a default route to the internet. There are no static routes configured on this router. Notice it was all learned through RIP. So as an example, if we ping 10.02.100 or 10.100, or 20.100 that all succeeds because the RIP process on edge 2 is learning the routes so some show commands show IP RIP interface shows me that RIP is enabled on VLAN 1 show IP RIP peer shows me that 10.00.100 is a peer in RIP so once again show IP route and we have the option to only look at RIP routes. And those are the routes that we've learned through RIP. So as an example, if we ping quadruple 4, the ping succeeds. So on the HP router, if we type the command show IP, you can see that those IP addresses are configured on the various VLANs. And notice there's a loopback address of quadruple 4. Show IP route on the router shows that we learned a route quadruple 2 through RIP from 10.0.0.102 which is edge 2. So as an example we can ping quadruple 2 which is the loopback address on edge 2. So that's how you set up RIP on an HP E-Series network and we have full connectivity enabled on our network. <laughs>